you've written a book on this what, what are the most interesting things you found out that we haven't mentioned here very briefly please stand uh, good evening everyone my name is Catherine and now uh, mine is coming on a, on a marriage basis uh, getting married at a tender age going through rejection and again getting married into an abusive partner and then when you think that this is uh, the right place that you are this person throws you out and you don't have a home you don't have anyone to call you don't have a relative that you can turn to you're all alone in that wilderness you don't know where to start and then you find yourself that you're in that cocoon you don't know how to get out of that cocoon and it happened to me i tried suicide more than three times it didn't work i was bitter with myself and the first thing i realized is that um, uh, i wanted to be alone i don't want to talk to anyone i don't want to to see light i don't even want to shower that is now when the 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 alarming signs started yeah. and i didn't even want to see my daughter i felt this is the reason why i'm going through this and it happened that it was so severe and i realized that most of the people even in marriage i've i've, I've not heard you guys talk about depression in marriage and it is real in marriage partners are going through uh, depression in 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 their homes in the places they're supposed to be they have fear they don't know who to turn to they are afraid of getting out because they'll be labeled by the society as failures they're afraid um and especially women they're afraid of uh, getting that name uh the single mothers and they don't know what to, where to turn to they're afraid of starting again and you find uh that when i realized that it is not me alone uh, i thank god i went to a money counseling center i found help but i believe it's not everyone who is going to get help okay and i was not afraid that is why i came to a point of writing a book it's an interesting book it's a it's all about my life it's uh it it has a funny name if i'll say that yeah. it's shackles in the cage because I realized that in that cage of marriage, I had shackles yeah. that tied me along, that I did not, I, I was not able to entangle myself. Okay. What I would like to tell everyone, even in marriage, I, I, I do a lot of counseling in marriages. I would like to tell someone, don't, don't stay in a circumstantial marriage. Uh, I stayed in one, I, I rejected myself having no formal education yeah. having coming from 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 a family that i i realized i was rejected i stayed in that cocoon all alone i was bitter i hated myself and uh, my husband used to tell me some very nasty things and okay. he used to call me names and i thought okay he says that i'm not beautiful so i'm not i'm not beautiful and I rejected myself too. It was agree, but I want to tell people there is hope. Okay. I want to tell everyone who is there, All right. you can always talk to someone. There is hope in God. There is hope. All talk right. to someone. Okay. Don't die in that situation Thank alone. You so much, talk Catherine. to someone. All right. Thank you so much. And that's where we have to leave it tonight. This is the Monday Report, the Town Hall Session, live from Prestige Plaza, Long Gong Road. We are talking about the burden of depression. And like Eddie said, we'll talk about this again. This is not enough. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for making time. And remember, if you're out there, be your brother's keeper, will you? If you notice anything strange, speak up. I'm Trevor Mbija. Always a pleasure having you with us. Good night for now.